Hold on. Hello everybody, Jack Rapella from Cycle Drag here once again. And come with me on this journey for the next 38 minutes as we show you some of the most impressive motorcycles and drag sleds. Oh yeah, turbocharged, nitrous, marbles, old school Kawasaki KZs, Harleys, two strokes. You know we love two strokes and records. Just set a new world record first pass down the track in Pro Mod. It'll be wild and exciting. If you're a fan of the most incredible, wildest, high horsepower drag sleds, this video is for you. Let's go. As always, we are on the road, on our quest to bring you the most amazing, most powerful, most entertaining motorcycles in the world. Before we get started with this video, could you please make sure you like and subscribe so in you never miss anything. Miles, we got a lot of great stuff coming. Motorcycles and drag sleds as we make our way up through Kalamazoo to Martin, Michigan. The hard working staff, you guys ready to go today? All right, we got sunshine. <laughs> you betcha. What's the weatherman know, right? That's right. Overpaid. We are back, US 131 Motorsports Park for the Super Bowl of sled racing. It's called the Super Sled Shootout. We're dealing with a little bit of rain. They're drying the track. That's not gonna bother the program at all. All right, we are getting ready for the Harley ET category. Look at this monster with all this nitrous. You wonder what's really in the bag. What's your name, sir? Brandy Jones. And where are you from? Niles, Michigan. Yeah, we live in Osceola now. Tell me about your motorcycle. Uh, it's just a 124 um, bagger. Actually a touring bike, ultra limited. How much Plus, nitrous are you putting to this thing? Uh, we're only putting 75 to it. Wow. It's uh, 250 horsepower on the, on the bottle. Unbelievable. You feel good about your chances yeah, today in V-Twin? Yeah, I'm looking for a win again. It's been a while, but we're, we're up to it. Good luck to you. Thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate it. And on and off, Michigan Drizzle has us delayed a bit, but we're about to get this party started. It may be a pandemic year, and we were here last year before COVID, and it was packed, so we weren't sure what to expect this year. Guess what? They've got more than 100 sleds total, and some of the fast classes are off the chain. There's turbos on these things. They are unbelievable. So stay with us. We got a brand new year of super sled racing. I know you like it because last year's video on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel did about 700,000 views and counting. Let's get this track dry and let's get this race underway because you know we are always on a quest on this channel to bring you the most impressive motorcycles, drag sleds, you have it. Whatever it is, if it's exciting, we're looking for it for you. Thank you for coming along with me. And we're gonna blitz you right off the start because we begin with one of the quickest and fastest two strokes in the world, Jim Chongress, left lane. He goes 799. What in the world is this? Oh, it's Herculean, it's potent, it's unique. What a stance, what a sound. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. GSXR 1000 outrun the Busa, the Busa looking to cross first. Let's go check out my dad's two stroke. Two stroke fans, let's go. We got something to see. How about a 1972 S2 350 triple? Let's go. Here we are, Dad. Tell me about this awesome bike. Well, it's, it's out of the garage for the first time in a long time. Is it ready to go? You got a surprise lap coming up. It's probably not ready to go, but how else is there, how else can you get it ready to go than Very true. make a pass and troubleshoot it from there, right? Very true. So, How's the oil level? I think we're a little bit low. We're gonna put a little bit in and maybe that'll help that clutch a little bit. Tell me about some of the upgrades you have on this bike and some of the features. 
Those aren't stock chambers as we know. Uh, those are, uh, you got, uh, the motor's been poured 20 over, 20 over Weiss goes. Okay. It's been ported and there's, if you look, there's a plate underneath the cylinder to raise the transfer ports. So, uh, there was a gentleman named John Ritter and uh, he actually built the pipes too. And uh, for a limited uh, time, he had S2 parts available and that looks like he got out of it. But, uh, you know, S2 stuff was, uh, you know, when Stenko went away back in the 70s, you couldn't find it. So. This is special to you because your very first street bike was an S2350 blue one, right? I mean, what's it like having it back after all these years? It, it's it's funny because it's still a flashback at times. You know, you get, you, you're you working on some aspect of it or you're doing something and it just takes you back to being, you know, a kid. And uh, the other interesting aspect, uh, well, whatever, for me was... You know, the price for my first one was $935 out the door. That was the price on it. It was a, a leftover in 1974, January 74. Ever since that day, my racing number's been 935. It's remained 935. It's been on every bike I've ever raced. And, uh, I don't know. It was kind of so like cool. the start of everything, you know? That's so uh, cool. Really, uh, really uh, a lot of fun, these little two cycles. They sure are. Little weather delay here, drag sleds coming up. For now, let's go meet some more racers. Super Eliminator is open to four strokes as well. And here's one of the most unusual ZX14 power drag bikes we've ever seen. And that's because the chassis is cut up off a GS. What is your name, sir? Rick Steinert. And where are you from? Uh, Madison Heights, Michigan. Tell me about this wild build. Um, I bought um, uh, an 81 GPC, 1981, and it's still Jason the original bike. I've owned it ever block. since. First so. What made you want to fit a ZX-14 motor? Um, I, um, the old motor, the KZ motor, was just whipped out. There was nothing left to it, and it was a plug-in starter, and all the stuff that you use for, you know, to make them fast. And um, the IDBA was out of business. Man Cup come up and stepped up with Super Eliminator. And so I supported the class with my Connie, and I decided uh, we need to, uh, I need to go racing. And I took the old motor apart, and it was just tired. And the wife says, yeah, you can go racing again, but I'm not going with you. So then you couldn't let the start. I got to show you a sign that really nails home <laughs> and accentuates racing in the north. Yeah, you guys down south and on the west coast, you could run all year, not here. But guess what? We're back to action. Take the dry track while well, we got it. There goes my dad on the ZRX. Oh, problems left lane. Let's listen. Ouch, that did not sound good. the Jixer and the Busa. So many like the power to weight of the GSXR, the might of the Busa, top end the GSXR 1000. Apparently, nobody wants to run a fairing today. This one's kind of wild as well. Check this out, naked. <laughs> Saving a little weight. Here comes that GSXR 1000. The leader bike wins it. All right. Seniors, help me out. I know you like to have a little fun with your senior picture for high school. Have you ever seen a senior picture like this? Let's get the inside scoop. Well, not everyone who graduates high school has a fast drag sled. What's your name, sir? Uh, Corbin Burmeister. And where are you from? Uh, I am from Hessel, Michigan. So tell me, how did you get this idea to get your senior picture with your drag sled? Well, that's what I'm known for, for drag racing, so I might as well get it here. Tell me a little bit about your sled. Uh, it is a 2017 Sidewinder. It's basically our trail sled that we switch over for summer. So you do, you switch it over, you, you race on the snow and yep. on the asphalt. Yep. You're a bad man. What do your friends in school think about this? Eh, they don't know what to think. <laughs> well, very cool, man, uh, and congratulations on your graduation. Yep, thank you. Yes, a few more Michigan sprinkles, but guess what? The weatherman said we had no chance this weekend, and things are really looking up. Don't race on that forecast, because we're ready to bring out the drag sleds. This place is drying up nicely, and here at US 131 Motorsports Park, they got the equipment to get the job done. As long as we keep getting a little sunshine, we're all good.
And look what I found here. These guys having some fun. Well, I think we should come off the trailer. Grom versus Z125. What do you think? Oh, maybe we will. We'll see if we can talk them into it. Pro Mod Round 2. An update on Outlaw 2. Our Outlaw winner got a buy. He left. He's out of here. It's now Sunday. It's a new day of racing. Everything has changed. Conditions have changed. But we're going to get into Pro Mod Round Number 2. Wish you the best of luck, sir. What, what is your name? Ben Hall. Any thoughts here going into round two? I think it's gonna be good. Good luck. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Edwin Werbel. Where are you from? Midland, Michigan. Edwin, it's been a weird race. Started on Saturday. Totally different conditions here. How you feeling heading into round two? Hey, the sun's out. I think it's gonna be a good track, so we'll go ahead and see what happens. Any major changes for conditions? Not a lot. Good luck to you. Thank you. Your sled's running good. Your sled's running good. If I could get that 60 work. I think he won an 11. I'll tell you, a lot of excitement and a lot of very appreciative racers. Everybody thought this thing was gonna be a washout. And look at this, the weather just keeps getting better. Do not race on the forecast, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here. Do not race on the forecast. And not only are we gonna bring you the world's fastest drag legs, we also have more motorcycles on the horizon. We'll take this thing all the way to the finish with the dash for cash. Sleds coming up. What happens there? Sir, are we finding out what VHT does to shoes? Yes, we are. That's what happens when you scrape the track. <laughs> Shows we got a little bit of track bite out there, don't we? Yeah. Oh, so much bite, you can even get stuck. Somebody help that gentleman. Teamwork, there we go. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that track has some teeth, huh? No, it's the wrong shoes, look at it. Oh. Don't use those, you gotta have some, some tread on there. So guys, so many of you online have asked me, why is the track so shiny? Why does it have that glaze? That's the VHT glue, and this is a process. There's a science to track prep, and when they get it just right, you will walk out of your shoes, as you've just seen. I even gotta watch filming. If I stay in one spot too long, I gotta start doing the wiggle and shake, or else I'll walk right out of my shoes. Racers love it, though. They absolutely love it. They can put more power to the track when it has that type of surface. sun came out just set a new world record first pass down the track in pro mod isn't that crazy what was the et in mile an hour mile an hour was 138.93 but they just lowered it from a 493 to a 486 how proud are you of that team in these conditions here i'm proud of that team i'm proud of the track team to take the weather we were just given put us down a world-class surface to do that. that. That's impressive. Kudos, and let's keep it going. Plenty more fast drag sleds and motorcycles to see. Check out this view. Oh, and that's a wonderful sound. Here comes the old ghost two-stroke. Gotta love this. Ed 
Baldwin fighting to keep this thing off the center line. These are hard to control sometimes. Remember, you don't have wheels, just a big belt. Wow. Wow, if anybody thinks those things are easy to drive, that was on a by run. He had to make a hard left-hander just to stay off the center line. Remember, you cross the center line on a by run, you get disqualified. So that could have been disastrous. Nonetheless, these guys are back and they're going on now to the semi-finals in Pro Mod Sled. Ready to roll again. This is such a competitive class. Just like most of the takes a lot of finesse. On right side out with a major hole shot. That hole shot leads that racer to victory. That's not easy to come off the trailer like that. Changing conditions have been tough. Wait a minute, I think we have a racer stop on the track. Good catch. You never want to send somebody down the racetrack in that situation. So good call here by the crew. We got somebody on the track left lane. We're obviously going to get that taken care of before we send down the next pair. And these guys are racing right off the trailer here this morning. And if you get a chance during this delay, please let me know where you're watching from down below in the comments. Where are you watching from? Is this going to require another burnout? So sorry about this delay, young lady. I know that's got to be tough. You get ready to go. You're amped up. Now you got to wait. How, how difficult is this? I, I mean, it's you just got to do what you got to do. You go up and you stage and you just run your thing. Kind of all there is to it. You going to do another burnout or are you going to be ready? Um, I don't know if we'll go back or not. Think about it, see how long it takes for them to clear it off the track. Good luck to you. Thanks. And we're hearing it will not be long. Here we go, take two. They're amped up and ready. Big jump off the line. She's got her work cut out for her. At the finish line, a left lane wins it. Yeah, a little problem on the line. That could have messed with her concentration, that delay. That's tough. And let's let you live vicariously through this fearless competitor. Who would like to give this a try? Pretty wild. Sign me up. That looks like fun. I always wondered the secret of what kept you going, track crew. Ice cream, huh? Ice cream on a Sunday afternoon. This reminds me of the famous Days of Thunder scene where he says, you can't pit, we're busy. We're eating ice cream. <laughs> well, we have a new Pro Mod world record, 486 on a drag sled. Where did that come from? Uh, I got to really got to give credit to the track prep. Those guys really worked hard and gave us the track to put it down. Uh, you know, that and Mother Nature, great air, a good running sled. A lot of stuff came together there. Perfect Could job. you describe to people what it feels like to go 486 in an eighth mile on one of these unbelievable drag sleds? Uh, well, it feels good. The fast runs always feel good. Well, congratulations. How do you feel about your chances of leaving here with a win? Feels good. Good luck. And I gotta ask you, Cycle Track Universe, would you ride this thing honestly? Play back that record run. Would you seriously ride this thing? Eighth mile, 660 feet. We're talking more than 400 horsepower. That thing is fast. Much more racing and much more to see coming up. Don't leave me now. Stay with me all the way throughout this video. I know my diehard fans will. If you watch the whole video, make sure you comment that you did so. We've got fast motorcycles coming up and we've got plenty more drag sleds and our new world record holder. Let's get you back down track side. Just like in drag bike racing, there are so many different categories. Bracket racing, left side goes red, right side wins it. Pro Mod Semi-Finals here we 
go. And please, if you know anybody into sleds or turbos, share this video with them because they've got to see this. <laughs> for lane choice 521 oh we got a mouthful of delicious race fuel can you smell it can you smell it i want to share some with you smartphone tv device whatever you're watching on if you can't be here we're just trying to bring you the next best thing and we are now down to our final in pro on sled at us 131 Get back into the slow stock 800. Getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. Who's your pick at home? Let me know who's going to win it all. We got another thriller. Look at how close this one is. They are locked at the finish line. They both go 568. Right side wins. That's called on a whole shot. That's why reaction time is so important. 568 to a 568 on a whole shot. You better know how to cut a racing sharp blade if you want a drag race. And here comes Team Fisher, ready to get some. Fisher out of the hole. They say more rain is on the way. We're not scared. We're not going to give up now. 554. Take a look at that flag. We've been blessed with a little sun, blessed with a little wind. The weatherman missed it again. It was supposed to be a total washout. I digress on that one. If I had a dime for every time we got a race in where the weatherman said it was going to be a washout. Anyhow, don't race on the forecast. We've got big money up for grabs. Let's get to the dash for cash. It started yesterday. We had to stop because of some sprinkles, but we're racing today. Somebody's gonna bring home the big money. We got Hayabusa's here, we got CX-14's, we got sport bikes, we got old school KZ's, GS's, everything you love. You know we're always on that quest to bring you the absolute best of motorcycle drag racing. And we got another one for you. Let's get to it. Lane's filling up and we're doing a rain dance. And you know, it's really been tough to dry the shutdown area. Anybody who's ever done this knows that's the toughest part because it's porous. You can dry the track, but the shutdown is tough. So what they're going to do, they're going to cut this event to eighth mile. We're coming right off the trailer for the dash for cash. It's going to be exciting. We're still going to see some great competitive racing. We're just going 660 feet instead. And I'll tell you, I think it's a great call because you got to dry racetrack. You want to be safe. We're not really sure what it's gonna do the rest of the way in terms of weather. Let's get these guys down the track and let's get this thing back underway. And are you kidding me? Ah, oh, slight raindrops, just an annoying, annoying little drizzle, not a soaker. Don't do this to us after six hours of drying. We've already got the sleds in, we wanna go racing. This is the frustration. This is the difficult part of the drag racing business. Remember, there's a lot of forms of racing that run rain or shine. They don't have to worry about this. Drag racers do. Ah, gee, we were just, look at that. The lanes are empty, just like that. An annoying little drizzle. It's not much, right? Right there, guys. That's all it takes. So as long as we don't get that big torrential soaker, we'll still run today. Uh, if you get a soaker, you're done. You're done. Without... with cold temperatures it's like 45 degrees no sun you're absolutely 100 done that would stick a fork in us but just a little mist you can drag it we got a little wind that could help but that's the frustrating thing about track racing you wait all that time everybody was ready to go in the lanes and now they take it back to the pits so the nice thing about drag racing is now the barbecue continues we'll go have a little fun see what we can find think we're gonna get this one in yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
As you can see down here, we got a big camp of racers, a lot of motorcycles, a lot of people. They got a fire going. Let's see how they've been passing the time. How's it going, everybody? I got one question, depending on who wants to answer it. How have you been passing the time during all these rain delays? Racing pit bikes. Yeah, racing pit bikes, chilling by the fire. So we got the fire going. We got some beverages and food going. Think we're going to get this one in? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you guys all from? When in the house. Good to see you. And we are back. We may have lost the battle, but we're going to win the war. As the promoter just said, this is the nicest sky he's seen since Tuesday. We're back underway. We're burning tires. We're going to get this race in. Sometimes you have weekends like this. You fight the rain all weekend long. Drag racers know it. Whirlpool and Hall. Can Hall complete the dream weekend? Whirlpool giving it everything he got. Top in the race rank. Hall, 4.95. 4.95. What a win. What a win. And we've still got four mighty sleds coming up. Uh-oh. Problems here. Finally, we get him to the line. See if that affects the concentration. Fisher with a nice reaction time. Down in that full tuck position. Right side takes the win. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Jamie, we did it. Two great finals. What do you think about that action, huh? Loving it. Loving the sunshine. And we're going to get this wrapped up today. I'm pretty excited about it. Got it, it in. Congrats. US 131 Motorsports Park track staff. Second to none. Second. We got a hand clutch GSXR 1000 showdown that you gotta see. It's all about who's got the best clutch hand. No sliders here. We've got the dash for cash standing by, but as for this race, right side takes the win. Big time money up for grabs. It is the illustrious dash for cash. Who will win it all? Let's find out. Let's go. You know, we got to talk about this because you just told me a great story. We talk about always trying to grow the sport. You said you brought him here on a whim a few races ago. Yep. And now he's hooked. Yeah, he's hooked. Actually, he took my bike out on a Friday night to a test and tune when I didn't know about it and just sent me a pic saying, look, Dad. <laughs> Four weeks later, here we are. He's definitely hooked and ready to start traveling and racing everywhere. What's your name? Brendan Green. From? Elkhart, Indiana. How old are you? I'm 20. So, I mean, are you just, you're attracted to the fun, the speed, the adrenaline? What do you like about this the sport? The speed, the adrenaline. Um, I work with the guys who do it and they got me hooked and we're just going after it and having fun. So Welcome to the sport. You'll be here Thank for a you. long time. I Finally, do you it. watch Cycle Drag? Of course I do. You're the man. Well, good luck to you, young man. Great to see new blood in the sport. You remember the Nitrous Harley we saw in the beginning? Here he comes. He had to wait, trying to make it count. And he does. He picks up the win. Left side goes red. That Nitrous Harley bagger wins it. This man told me he used to be a mixed martial arts fighter. Now he's a racer. And here comes Dad on the CRX. Uh-oh. I don't think Dad did enough of a burnout. I better tell him. No, it's too late. That tire's wet. do it I think that long delay may have affected the concentration of a few racers maybe dad just wants to get home and get a steak I don't blame him I'm hungry let's get the grill going here it is guys we are down to four in the dash for cash my goodness we battled rain we battled all the elements but now we are here dash for cash final four so much on the line. Nick Christmas, Near Lane, GSXR, Doug Fisher, Far Lane, Wheelie Bar, Suzuki, Hayabusa. Fisher goes. 
Rose Red, I can't believe it. Doug Fisher, definitely one of the toughest racers in the Midwest, just missed the tree. Christmas wins it. And now we've got an old school KZ, ridden by a young lady, Allison Eld, and she'll be taking on the Honda CB. or the CB. Two machines that started the sport bike craze, in my opinion. Changed the game. Allison's got her work cut out for her. That Honda looking back, playing the game. The Honda takes the win. That's it, guys. We will have the final for you in the Dash for Cash coming up. Stay with us. Like, share, subscribe so you never miss a video. A torturous red light in the final left side as we have a few categories to finish up here. Right side gets the sweet taste of victory. Any Yamaha sled fans in the house? We'll see if the Yamaha can get it done. Big gap to make up. Yes, left side Yamaha takes the win. So much excellent, thrilling, competitive racing in this event. Sure hope you can join us in person one year as the left side takes the win. Hayabusa now taking on the leader bike. We got another great drag race. No scoreboards in this one. Getting there first will be right hand side, the Hayabusa. We've got the super comp final coming up. Old school, new school, who you got? Doug Fisher again, this time he's on his old school KZ up against the GSXR 1000. Oh, and this time the Jixer puts the cherry on the tree. Doug Fisher gets some sweet redemption on old school. Wow. Congratulations, Doug Fisher gets it done in Super Comp. He lost in the Dash for Cash semis, but he found redemption in Super Comp. Right. Hey, you too. Uh, yeah, what are you down? 654. Congratulations, sir. What's your name? Nick Christmas. Where are you from? Uh, Youngstown, Ohio. Tell me about your motorcycle here. Uh, it's a 2003 Jixer 1000, stock motor, uh, extended swing arm, air shifter, auto shift. How old are you? 23. And how excited are you to be in the Dash for Cash final? It's, it's pretty exciting. You know, travel five and a half hours, you always want a good outcome. Good luck to you. You got a tire adjustment going on over here. What is your name, sir? Mark Musselman. Where are you from? Uh, Wawaka, Indiana. How old are you? 61. 61. So what do you think about this young 23-year-old man that's going to try to take you out? Right. Anything can happen. You <laughs> just never know. You're doing a great job on the Honda. How excited are you to be in the final? Uh, I'm excited. This is this is good. This is only about my second time out this year. That's <laughs> the way to get it done. Good yeah. luck to you here. All right, guys. This is it. Final round. The old school Honda with the old school rider and the 23-year-old on the GSXR 1000, who's taking it all from Martin, Michigan, US 131. Let's find out. It's Muscleman versus Christmas. Final round, old school versus new school, youth versus experience. Who you got? Both of these racers have just been red hot all day and chopped through this very impressive and competitive field. And now it all comes down to this. One run to settle it. And we've got green lights all around. We've got a fight to the finish. 
That Honda CB trying to hold him off. Here comes Christmas on the Jixxer. Christmas takes the win, 614. Give it to the GSXR 1000. But you gotta give that Honda rider credit, my goodness, on the old school bike. Only the second time out this year. What an amazing performance. Congratulations. The young man, he's the winner of the 2020 we want to thank Schnitz Racing, we want to thank Bellman Oil, we battled rain, we want to thank the staff here at US 131, they got it done. We're looking forward to an even bigger and better Das for Cash in 2021. Stay with Cycle Drag, we got much more coming, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and give, give these guys some shares as a congratulations. How about that, let's give them some exposure. Thanks so much for watching. Well, I gotta say congratulations. They're revving for you, Nick Christmas. That's all for you. Yeah. It is Christmas. It's Christmas, Christmas in October. Came early. <laughs> it's chilly as heck. You win the dash for cash. You also yeah. win the bike sled shootout. How are you so on today? Oh, uh, it's not me, man. It's this bike. This bike is a deadly machine. Between my friends and family that helped me build this bike, I wouldn't be here without them. What do you think it is about this bike that makes it so consistent? I uh, honestly, I. It's just the combination between both of us. Like, I, I connected this bike. This bike, she Absolutely. has been with me since day one, and I Absolutely. love this bike. Well, speaking of with you since day one, who's this lovely lady over here? This is Allison. Excellent. And who do we have behind you? Uh, Joyce and Jesse Baker. Right. How proud are you of this guy? Extremely. Oh, this, is, so proud. this is an extended family. I yes. love him to death. Very There's cool. more back home. Did you guys have a good time this weekend? Oh, excellent. Excellent. How could you not? Right. Congratulations. Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, the Samoras, uh, yeah. Mike McCormick, all those guys, Tabitha and Rick Tabin Poole. Rick. You guys are awesome. Congratulations to Rick Poole winning the No Box side at Indy. $18,000. Wow. Well, congratulations to you. Great weekend. Thank you, sir. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like. Turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. We got some great stuff coming out. All right, weary traveler, we have made it to Phoenix, Arizona, and I'll tell you, the sweatshirt is coming off after being on all weekend. It is so much warmer. I'll tell you, this was a great weekend of racing, but it was cold. Hats off to everybody who stuck it out. It was cold. It's so much warmer here. What an advantage people have. I think my, I think I got a sinus headache from being out there all weekend, but uh, it's crazy. It was still worth it because we saw some great racing. And remember, if you watch to the end, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. The quest to bring you the most powerful, exciting, amazing motorcycles in the world continues. We're on the road once again, guys. If you like this video, here's another one for you. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share so that you never miss anything.